After a strong showing on the first day of the Taste of the Caribbean, things really started to heat up for the USBI culinary team. On Friday morning, Kunal Chakrabarty competed in the pastry division while Afia Augustus chopped it up in the junior chef competition. Kunal ended up taking top honors for his pastry creation, winning gold, and was named Pastry Chef of the Year. It's an honor to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. and I'm really, really happy and it's very humbling to be really uh, appreciated in this way. Meanwhile, Afia captured bronze in her category. Friday night, though, the team was really put to the test in the Taste of the Islands competition. This year, each team was tasked with creating two savory tastings, one enticing dessert, and one rum-based island signature cocktail. Every island is different. As we all know, the Caribbean is truly a melting pot, influenced by many different cultures, and you need to represent your island. Don't make something that you typically would not. Make your national dishes, and you're going to do really well. If you thought cooking for one person was tough, try cooking for 200. That's the task of Team U.S. Virgin Islands here in Miami, Florida at the Taste of the Caribbean competition. And here is where things got intense preparing to serve 200 people. But for Team USBI, it was business as usual. We're looking wonderful. Macaroni and cheese going here right now. And after that, we come back and we finish off the competition. For USBI Hotel and Tourism Association President Lisa Hamilton, the competition left her on the edge of her seat. I think they're doing great. Of course, I think I get way more nervous than they do at this point. It's always the final countdown. Moments later, the VI chefs emerged with their dishes, desserts, and drinks, ready for the sold-out crowd who came out for the taste of the islands. The flavors are beautiful. The people enjoying the food, and we got everything out on time, and we did. I think we did. And from the look of it, the crowd did not leave the VI booth disappointed. From Miami, Natasha Romaine, News 2.